Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area local sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. We got a lot farther than many people have thought of, and it was both. It wasn't just one thing or another. We were proud of how far we have gotten, but we were also disappointed for we didn't make that one play and that one thing to make us be better. We've just been keeping our heads to ourselves and just in our, within our team and our coaches and just being more energetic and together as a team than worrying about what people think on the outside. Hey, folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're going to make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Converse Judson has always been known as being a state power in football, basketball, and track and field. But last year, the Judson softball team made a surprising softball state championship run, getting all the way to the finals before losing to Deer Park and Deer Park's center fielder that played like Ken Griffey Jr. The Rockets, though, brought back most of their main players from last year's team, added a couple of new players this year. And while one of their main players, Keely Williams, has been out with an injury the last few weeks, other players have stepped up and the Rockets have run away with their district title and are the favorite once again to get out of Region 4 and potentially get back to Austin and get another shot at winning a state championship. Judson's softball success has brought in new fans. There's the FFA folks coming in to watch the action. There's former Judson principal and current Judson ISD district admin Jesse Hernandez, minus his 50-gallon hat from last year. Oh, wait, never mind. There it is. Those waiting at the bus stop, they're definitely thinking softball, as is the queen. No, 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 not the queen of England, but this queen, Queen Dunn. We got a lot farther than many people have thought of, and it was both. It wasn't just one thing or another. We were proud of how far we have gotten, but we were also disappointed for we didn't make that one play and that one thing to make us be better. We've just been keeping our heads to ourselves and just in our, within our team and our coaches and just being more energetic and together as a team than worrying about what people think on the outside. The Rockets dominated 27-6A play to where they clinched the 18 district with four games remaining, which is as close to a runaway as you can have in high school sports, meaning they'll have plenty of time to focus on the real season, which is beginning in a few weeks of the knockout rounds. We help each other like play in the position if they're not used to the position. It's more energetic and every um, play like counts, every at bat counts, every pitch counts for us. So we're just excited for every pitch that happens. Capitalize on um, mistakes that our opponents start making later on in the game or even if they come out uh, making mistakes, we want to capitalize on every little thing. Keely Williams has been out for a few weeks, but the Rockets haven't suffered, especially by forcing teams into mistakes that lead to runs and many easy wins. Keely is, has time to rest, and we have those players to give opportunity and everything else for us in the game and make Keely, let Keely rest, and hopefully she comes back and be better. Play in the moment, and if we don't play in the moment, then it's going to slip right from our fingers. So that's what we're going to take on to this year. Area softball is top heavy with Judson and O'Connor at the top, MacArthur trying to get there after a first round exit last year, and everyone else trying to get up there and pull the spoil. We're not really too worried about MacArthur or O'Connor just yet. Mentally working our minds and everything else to get to the place that we were last year to become stronger and everything else. Judson is a school where football, basketball, and track are always at the top. Now softball is getting there too. We want all these little girls in the stands to look up to us and we want them to come to Judson and play for Coach Irby just like how we wanted to when we were their age. She loves us, she loves us all the time, and it's not, it's it's a constant with Coach Irby. Go up with confidence, and I mean, we change it, we get well. We did a good job of being ready for it. We also did what really smart our bases. But can they get back to Austin and finish it off? We're not over it. We we want to go. We want to go back to state and we want to win state. But we want to live in the moment. If so, we might get to see the Queen and the 50-gallon hat of McCombs Field once again. Reporting from Converse, I am Mr. Bowtie.